Hey guys, my name is Sona, and today let's talk polymers. So first things first, what exactly are polymers? We can look to the word itself to help us figure this out. We can divide the word into two parts, poly, which is Greek for many, and mer, which is Greek for parts. Put them together, and the official definition of a polymer is a large molecule composed of many repeated units, which are known as monomers. Those are just a lot of words, so let's actually visualize this using a paper people chain. The single person in the chain is analogous to a repeating unit, or monomer. When we unfold this chain, we get many people connected together. This long chain of connected people, or repeating units, is then analogous to a polymer. Now that we understand the basic idea behind polymers, we can look at some of the different structures they can have. They can be linear, where the polymer is just one long continuous chain. They can also be branched, where the polymer at some point breaks off into multiple chains, just like a tree branch. Polymers can also be cross-linked. In this case, chains are connected or linked to each other. These are just some of the many structures and forms polymers can take. So now that we've talked about the definition and the structure of polymers, let's talk about why it matters. It matters because the structure of a material affects its properties. Polymers tend to have very different structures than other materials, like a carbon dioxide molecule in the air, or a sodium chloride crystal. And having a different structure means that polymers have unique properties. For example, polymers tend to be heavier than other substances. Because of their long length, they also don't really organize themselves in an orderly fashion. Instead, they tend to curl and tangle together, like in a plate of spaghetti. They can also stretch more than other substances. And these are just some of the unique properties of polymers that make them really important in our world. In fact, you might not even realize that we are surrounded by polymers in our daily lives. Most plastics, whether it be a plastic bottle, or a plastic bag, or even a plastic egg carton are actually polymers. The polyester and nylon fabric in our clothes are also polymers. And the rubber in the tires of our cars are polymers as well. There are even polymers in our brains. DNA, which are the building blocks of all of humanity, are actually considered biopolymers because they are actually long chains consisting of many repeating units. All of this shows how important polymers are in our world even if you hadn't heard of it before. I myself did not know much about polymers either, until this summer, when I started working with the Composto group at my university. They do research in polymers, and under their wing, I learned about and worked with polymers. I hope that with this video, I was able to pass on just a little of what I learned about the world of polymers to you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.